Hello. <laughs> Ziggy here. Okay, so been a long time without any videos. Um, so <laughs> time for me to take over the channel. Woo! Yeah, so I'm Ziggy Frog, and I am a Lego frog. I love Lego, and we should be we should be doing more Lego for um, selling. So here I am taking over the channel. Um, the lady will be back. However, she has been ill over the last week. Yeah, um, and she's been at the hospital. But she's okay. She's had treatment. But she's in, been in and out as an outpatient. And yeah, she's just been in a bit. Uh. So she ain't coming on camera because she looks pasty and mengalory. So it's me. So today's video is all of this Lego. So we got lucky enough to buy a lot um, which we spent like eight pounds on and then like four pounds postage so 12 pounds in uh, So we've got this set here, which I'm going to build today And then we've got stuff there, which we've got to check over um, and we've got boxes for them So that's both Harry Potter That's Hagrid's hut. So I've got we've got to inventory that in a minute But this one is all inventoried and ready to go and unbelievably, you see, I thought that it would be messed up. But look, we've got the minifigures. I thought these things would be missing. I thought that piece would be missing. We've got the safe. We've got all of the interesting pieces. We have one tile that's missing and one spear that's missing. But, you know, so be it. And then, bearing in mind we spent £8 for two sets. I've got the instructions here. And then, and this is this is the mad bit. We've got the box. Ooh, here it is. The box, fully intact. Yeah. Let's turn it over. Uh, there we are. Ooh, how exciting! I am very excited. I have done this set before. Um, we sold it for £50 before, but we didn't have the box. Um, I think people are underselling this on eBay. So we are going to put this together and we're going to aim for £80 region because we've got the box. I've seen people who've sold them with the box, um, but they haven't photographed it very well. They've done very poor photos. So we're going to do top-notch photos. Maybe we'll even get those two bits that we're missing. Um, anyway, let's time lapse. Whoa.
So yeah, we're gonna try and do eight pounds on this one. Um, complete, complete, complete. Like I say, we've got one tile missing, but you did see in there that we had the transparent side tile. It was normally the key on it, and then that that thing there. That's just a colour sub. So I'm confident that we can get eighty pounds for this because I just think it's rare to find it with the box. Dumbledore's castle. I mean, our face. It, let's face it, it's a castle. Okay, right, come with me, come with me. There's more, come on, there's more. Come here, there's more, there's more. Right, this is my next quest. Ooh. So, Dumbledore's knocking around here with Mr. Hagrid for some reason. Um, this, which is the first um, release, 2001, the first release of Hagrid's Hurt, doesn't have Harry Potter in it because you know Harry Potter's got nothing to do with Harry Potter, obviously. <laughs> so now I'm going to put this one together. Okay, let's go. Um, uh, what have we got missing? Oh, one key. So these keys here, 
Um, one key there is supposed to be gold, but it's grey. We've got a key, so it's complete. Let's roll. Let's do this. Bing! It's made of like plastic edition, the roof. This is generation one of Hagrid's hut. Absolutely no, no question as to why they made a generation two and a generation three of Hagrid's hut because this is terrible. Um, mine it because it's got lots of interesting bits in it. Yes, I mean, look. Um, so I've moved it round, I've got my elastic band. The elastic band is supposed to connect to the top. But it's together, I mean look how pretty it is on the box. Really pretty on the box. But yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> Maybe I've got fat fingers. I can't do it. Anyway, um, yeah. I just can't, I just can't, I just can't do it. So here we are, we have the, um, what's um, fumble, um, uh, Dumbledore, and Freddy Baluki. I mean Hagrid. So I had another go with the elastic band but it's just not working and as you the pressure of the elastic band it pings all of these off um which is stupid really silly design anyway um and this is a silly design as well because it's got this like pegging on it here which doesn't fit properly anyway ugh, the whole point of it is is that we're going to sell it and i'm glad we're selling it because it's just a rubbish uh, so yeah, um, so Harry Potter, um, Hagrid's Hurt, and here is the instruction book. There are the minifigures, and there is. Doesn't wheel falls over. What? My God! I mean, people who design Lego are supposed to know what they're doing, but this is a terrible, terrible set, and I'm sure that's why. Um, there's just no de there's no decent solds. I think it's going to be like when we've sold it previously, we've got twenty five for it. I'm hoping with the box we could get forty, maybe fifty, probably forty conservatively. Uh, but anyway, still fantastic return on investment. R O I. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching my video. I'm going to come back with some more Lego sorting because I've got lots of Lego sorting to do. I just wanted to get these ones done. Um, hopefully the lady will be feeling 
a little less peaky and pasty and might come on camera. Uh, any chance of that? Anyway, if she doesn't, then you'll get more of me. And, you know, let's face it, I'm cool. I am cool. Um, unlike Hagrid's hat. Edition 1. Anyway, so um, thank you for watching. I'll be back again soon. Uh, subscribe, like, and kiss my bum. See you soon. Bye. Hagrid's hurt my bum. Kiss my bum, Hagrid. <laughs>